Folks, we have tricked out our John Deere Zero Turn mower. Can you count all the upgrades that are on here? We're gonna take you through it today, but we have one more big upgrade to add on it today as well. It'll fit not just this John Deere Zero Turn, but pretty much any Zero Turn out there that has one of these roll bars on it too. And just about all of these upgrades came from 247parts.com where you can save money on OEM John Deere parts using code GWT. You place an order on their website or over the phone with them too, they'll pack it up and ship it right to you. But not only parts for zero turn mowers, they've got stuff for anything John Deere, right? So your lawn and garden stuff, your lawn mowers, your subcompacts and compacts, gators, Whatever you got that's John Deere, they can help you out. Anything from an oil change kit to a new accessory like this. All right, so let's walk you through everything we have going on here. Maybe we'll start up front and work our way around from there. So first thing, way down below here, we added on these front wheels. all right? So we are no flat all the way around. We have the wheels on the back, got the wheels on the front. Don't have to worry about anything going flat and being out of commission. Any of you guys out there added the front wheels? How are you liking them? What do you think about them? So far, so good for me. Next up here, we have a bolt-on parking stand, all right, to make it easier to service underneath the deck. But obviously, when your wheel is out of the way, rotate this 90 degrees, crank it on up for easy service. It should be worth noting, though, to always make sure you block up behind your rear wheels, all right? You want to make sure you're doing safety practices. Nobody needs. We talk about tractor accidents all the time, mower accidents too, all right? So safety first anytime you're working on your machine. This right here will come in super handy, all right? We mow along our road frontage here, and so having this little guy here to pick up all the random litter, you know, I hate that, but what are you gonna do? And you can hop off the, the mower and do that too, but who wants to do that? Do it right from the seat of your zero turn without having to get off, pick up, collect everything right in here, Bring it along with you, dump it when you're done. It's an easy way to collect that garbage, make sure you don't mow over it, and make your property look a little bit nicer. Now part of this, you can see, and part of it you can't, but we added on a mulching kit, okay? We used to have uh, the baffle that came out here for the side discharge, but I really like the idea of mulching it up better, and so we have a set of mulching blades on here, and then the mulching baffle as well. Now there are some of the, the John Deere Zero Turns that you can get uh, MOD, mulch on demand, I think it's called, if I remember right. But if you don't have that, which this mower deck didn't, this is gonna be a cheaper way to get into that system. Now, most of these accessories just bolt right on, very easy to do, all right? And you can see here, we have a rear bracket and a front bracket with these, uh, these straps right here. This is to bring along your trimmer with you, all right? And again, if you have a big property or if you're doing this stuff commercially, right? And man, I used to mow back in college. Uh, I was just talking about this with somebody recently. Back when I was in college, I used to mow another big university and we would have to go all over the place, all over the grounds. And if we would have had this kind of setup here, it would have made life so much easier, saved a lot of time, made us more efficient instead of having to walk back and forth, just having everything right there with us to get the job done. Shoot, even Chris and I both, uh, back in our college days, both mowed at Fromm in lawn care locally here in Kalamazoo. I think he's, I think Jim's still in business if I know, if I remember right. We just saw him, what, a year ago or so, huh? And uh, we did a ton of mowing, all residential stuff all around here, some commercial stuff too. And, and I think we can both vouch for the fact that a setup like this would have saved so much time, made our job more efficient, and just made, I think, everybody that was working there a lot happier. Something that I don't really need right now in the middle of summer, but spring and fall, look at that. Got some LED lights on there, and again, these just bolt in. A little, there's already a little knockout on these zero turns to add this switch on there. So a little bit of wiring involved, but, but not much. Um, if we can do it, so can you guys. A nice pair of LED lights there to shine on those days when daylight starts to get shorter, you get out of work, you still have to mow the lawn, maintain it. Well, now you can, and you can see what you're doing too. That's nice. A pretty cool way to get some storage on here when storage is almost unheard of on a zero turn is a little tray, right? If you want to bring a drink along, a pair of gloves, you know, it's a simple tools, whatever. You got a decent amount of space in here to carry things along with you. And that is, again, just bolt it over here, bolt over here, you're ready to go. But hard to find storage. I mean, tractors are in the same boat, right? Boy, I almost wonder, I almost wonder if there's a way to put this in between the rops on a tractor too, and then I'm thinking about it. I'll have to ask them that question. I don't know if that's an option or not, but it is hard to get any kind of storage on a tractor or a zero turn. So when you can make it happen, go for it. And the last thing we've added on down here in the corner, another bolt-on accessory for your hand tools, a rake, a shovel, whatever you can fit inside there, I suppose you can bring along with you, but it's out of the way. Just right behind the wheel, you're not widening your footprint at all. Yeah, it clears, it clears just barely, but it does. It clears the back fender there too. It's, it's set up well. A good accessory for the right application. Now there is one thing I didn't get on here and I have no idea why I didn't. 
but you can add on a rear trailer hitch, all right, to pull along a trailer, you know, or you could pull along um, a, a lawn sweeper, you could pull along a core plug aerator. Shoot, there's even pull behind spreaders and, and all that kind of thing too. So a lot of different uses that you could really use a trailer hitch on there. And honestly, I, I don't know why I didn't get it. I probably should have, that was a bad idea on my part. And now it is time to add that last accessory to our zero turn to really trick it out. Kick it up a notch as what's his face, Emerald? That's who says that. And I know that June could use one of these too because she has been panting like crazy. She's just trying to stay out of the heat. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. We are gonna be installing a rhino hide canopy on this mower. Man, that is all you do with a mower is mow in hot, sunny weather, and it is going to make a huge difference. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but we've just been busy. So we're going to get it done today, add a canopy on here. Again, these will fit any zero turn out there with a roll bar like this. If you don't have a roll bar, there's nothing for the canopy to attach to. So you got to have a roll bar on there. So we're going to show you how to do that today. It's a real game changer. You can also take it off. Super easy. If you need a trailer down the road, it pops off super easy. It's called the Easy On, Easy Off model. It's lightweight. The whole thing only weighs like 30 pounds, and part of that is staying on the ROPS. So you may be lifting off 15 pounds so one person can do it. So easy for towing, easy for storage. It's also very tough. You know that bed liner material, that thick HDPE material for a drop-in bed liner? Same exact stuff, so you know it can take a beating. All right, you guys. So there are a lot of ways you can install the canopies on these uh, mowers and the different roll bars and so many different angles, all right? And so the way that these are set up is that there's gonna be one pre-drilled hole in the bracket and then you're going to adjust the angle that you want your canopy to sit at and you'll drill out the second hole, all right? So there's an extra hole that's on the bracket, just gives you flexibility, but you're gonna need to drill out one hole on either bracket. You're not drilling into the rops, there's no drilling into that. It's gonna clamp around here and hold on to it. Uh, just part of the process though, so follow along, it'll make sense. Okay, so we got everything laid out here. We're gonna do the U-bolts first, get these brackets uh, mounted on there. We're just gonna hand tighten right now and then we'll snug everything up a little bit later. All right, so again, a lot of ways you can do this. Feel free to experiment. We're gonna give it a shot this way. And up and down, you know, if you have to adjust your height down the road, just loosen up the U-bolt, okay? Oh, look at that. Storage tray coming in handy already. But yeah, just loosen up the nuts on the U-bolt here and you can slide it up and down as needed. Now, we know with this ROPS configuration, the zero turn, we're gonna be mounting the canopy above the ROPS. And so we may, we'll probably still wind up somewhere in that ballpark, but it's gonna make it a little bit easier having a little bit of extra height, getting on and off of the zero turn, wherever we end up positioning it. So this is what we're talking about when uh, mounting this. this is, we're coming up to when you're gonna to have to drill that extra hole. And so, this little hole down here is not meant to go through that hole, all right? You're meant to have flexibility so you can adjust this to the angle that you want and you'll tighten it down up here and then you're gonna end up drilling this bottom hole out to mount your second bolt. good there so they're snug right now but not too tight where we can't move them that way they kind of stay in place where we want the final position to be 
Like so. Almost parallel. The bottom of the tube is almost parallel with the bracket, just a degree or two off. So we're gonna end up putting the front end just a little bit lower than the back end, all right? And uh, yeah, right in here is, is basically right where we want it. So we are just placing it so that the, uh, the holes down here where we're gonna secure it are kind of in the, the valley. You kind of have the highs and the lows on top of the canopy so that it fits right down in the, in the low. So it's a nice snug fit there. I thought it would be a good time to tell you my thoughts on the zero turn mower as well. I've had uh, quite a few John Deere zero turns over the years. I would uh, get them in to buy them and sell them, but also use them uh, on, from time to time as well. And so I have used a few of the, the lower end residential stuff. Um, anything that you could buy at Lowe's, you know, in that range, and then kind of the, um, the 700 series, the 900 series. I've even used uh, the 997, had one of those for a while. I love that uh, mower. That's a big diesel one, which those prices are... <laughs> That is a pricey mower. And they're not giving away these, these mowers either here. This thing has power for days though. I wish, well, 60 inch versus a 72 inch deck, you know, I had this mower back when we lived at our old house on just a, in a residential neighborhood. The 60 inch deck was a lot better suited for that. Uh, 72 inch gets to be too wide to get around different obstacles that are in the way. And also you need to have a really, really level lawn with a 72 inch, um, that extra foot of width you know, if you have humps and high spots, low spots, all that kind of thing, you can tend to see a lot of scalping on there where you're gonna have less scalping with a 60 inch deck. But it is built very stout. I do love most everything about this mower. I like the convenience um, of how you adjust the mower deck height here with this dial here. You can lock it up, you can lock it down. Uh, you can kill the PTO with a button here. You can raise the mower deck up over here. Uh, this is 
it's carbureted. It's got a choke on there. It's not EFI on this model, which I would like to have an EFI uh, version if I had my, my pick. I don't know if the new ones are or not. Somebody else can enlighten me on that. But I use this residentially. I'm not using it commercially. This is definitely a commercial grade mower. Um, I tend to kind of go overboard with things, not because I need to, just because I want to. And <laughs> you know, this thing will last as long as I want it to. It really will. Out here though, I'm torn. I, I do keep thinking about going with a bigger mower just to get things done quicker. I mean, our main lawn is, uh, is three acres that we mow, or that or actually right now we have mowed. I just don't have time to do it. And then I still mow there's probably another two acres of stuff that's around the barn, just different trails and odds and end areas on a regular basis too. And so we have a lot of land to mow on a regular basis. And you know, if I was gonna mow that three acres on a, on a regular basis out here, I really can see the benefit of going with the 72 inch. This engine has plenty of power to operate that. The hydros are strong. This turns very, very tight. Um, it's very solid as far as those uh, motors go. The thing that stinks that I don't like about the John Deere mowers, and I think uh, most of these mowers in general, is the warranty isn't all that long on there uh, compared to like a, the subcompact tractors, which this channel is primarily about. And that's just kind of par for the course. I don't know if that's related to the build quality of the mowers in general or just kind of the industry standard and they don't need to go much above and beyond that, so they don't. Uh, the one thing that really bothers me is I still have a very slow leak uh, coming out of the, the, uh, the, the oil drain, okay? And so when we had this service the first time and replaced um, the plug in there, it's never stopped leaking. We've had it back in there twice, and there is still a very slow leak of oil on my shop floor. You know, come this off season again, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have... John Deere keep it until it's fixed and repaired um, so that it does not leak anymore. That is a huge, huge annoyance to me, um, especially on a mower that's really this nice. It's a really nice mower and it's not a John Deere engine, right? It's a Kawasaki engine that's on here. Um, so maybe it's more to do with them. But nonetheless, that's the one thing that really bothers me. Besides that, I don't have any complaints. So really just kind of my random thoughts about this mower, not a full on technical review. That does remind me though, not this past Labor Day, the, the one before that, this thing just shut down and stopped working and then um, randomly decided to turn back on again about 20 some minutes later. Happened one more time. Uh, PTO then wouldn't turn on. Had some real random stuff going on that, uh, you know, the John Deere techs weren't 100% sure what caused it or not. They replaced a couple things and got it back up and running, which also, again, was not covered under warranty. Um, I think it was out of warranty. A short warranty is, is, is kind of the problem there. So take that for what you will. You guys own these John Deere mowers out there. Put your two cents into. Leave a comment down below on it. Are there better choices? I don't know. I keep thinking about Ferris. keep thinking about Skag. Um, those are the couple others that I would probably strongly consider if I do end up replacing this guy here. But um, overall, every piece of equipment's gonna have issues. I don't really care what brand it is or if it's a zero turn, a truck, a trailer, whatever you have, it's all gonna have problems. I don't think anything's perfect out there. So sometimes I feel like you get through the rough stuff and then you're good to go and don't change anything after that. Folks, so there you have it, the Rhino Hide Canopy installed on a zero turn mower. We've shown you these installed on tractors before. And again, basically anything that has a ROPS bar, a rollover protection system, that thing, you can put one of these on there. Easy to do, well under an hour, more like a half hour if you have all the tools ready at hand. It really does make a big difference just staying out of the sun off of your head. You know, we've had some guys mount fans on here, light bars, other things too, so you can do some other things to trick it out. Although if you do that, it is gonna make it heavier if you do wanna take it off, but if you intend to kinda of keep it on there permanently, well, that's a pretty good idea then. So get your canopy for your mower or your tractor at tractorcanopy.com and everything else we showed you today, get it over at 247parts.com. Use code GWT to save big on your order. Now, if you're looking for anything else for your tractor, we'd love to help you out for the front end loader or the three point hitch. Go to goodworkstractors.com. We ship all over the country every day of the week. We do have over 700 other videos out there for you to enjoy, so give those a watch. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.